Hey guys, Mysterion here. So, you know, it's 3 in the morning, I've got nothing better to do, and I'm just looking on the internet as I usually do. And I found something odd, and I'm going to go through that with you today. So, apparently in relationships, um, sometimes people give, you know, one, like the boyfriend or the girlfriend will give the other uh, partner a relationship contract, which I found incredibly weird and i thought you know what i'm gonna go through that with you today so yeah that's why we're here um so rule number one uh was you're not to have a single girl's phone number why not why not if I, i'm not flirting with them that that could be family for all you know like my mother's divorced right she she's single can't i have her number on my phone it's my mother you know what i mean i'm not flirting with anybody that's, it doesn't make sense when you enter a relationship with somebody, you know, you enter a relationship and you need to trust them. If you can't trust them, why bother being with them? You're wasting both my time and the, and the other person's time. You need, to, you need to really trust the other person. And the second rule is you're not allowed to follow uh, the single girls on social media. Why not? Why not? Uh, I'm not, you know what I mean? If I'm not flirting with them, why can't I follow them on social media? What's... What's me seeing their profile picture or seeing them upload photos going to do to the dynamic of the relationship? It makes absolutely no sense. It it's sort of like, why would you care what what like what I follow on Facebook on Facebook or on Instagram? You know what I mean? If it's not really affecting you, why should it matter? Another rule I found weird on here is. If girls come up to you at any place or any time, you are to walk away. Um, <laughs> what? Why? Why would I have to walk away? So you're telling me, right, if a random girl comes up to me and she's not interested in me whatsoever, a woman just comes up to me, you know, I've got to social distance that. I can't, I can't have that. Even when COVID ends, I've got to social distance that. I can't, I can't be... In the vicinity of, of a woman. And why? Well, you know what I mean? That, that get the same thing. If I'm not flirting with them, who cares? You know what I mean? It, it just shows insecurity, you know? I think when you enter a relationship with somebody, you need to trust them and you need to, you know, not be so insecure. Because what when I look at this, what I see is someone who's really, you know, worried about being replaced. And I, for that reason, I think you need the person that wrote this to begin with needs to be more confident in themselves. You know, you gotta, tr you gotta really trust the other person and trust that you're good enough. Don't write a contract for your partner to follow. That is so weird. And another one on this that I'm gonna go over with you. You are not allowed to drink unless I'm with you. Yeah, no, that, that, does, that doesn't fly with me. As a person that likes to go clubbing and drink, yeah, nah, oh, that's not going to work. Um, why can't, if I've worked hard one day, why can't I come home and have a beer? Why can't I, you know, relax? If I'm having a drink, if it's me, I'm going to have a drink to relax or I'm going to have a drink to get drunk with my friends. You know what I mean? Why must I have my girlfriend there all the time? I need a break, woman. Look, <laughs> what? I need a break. I don't want to see your face every day. I'm, what, what do you want me to say? You know, you, you're nice to have around, I'm sure. But I don't want to, I don't, I, I do not want to focus on you and my friends together in the one spot. I want to have a drink by myself or with my mates without you there so I can relax. Leave me alone, woman. And the next one. You are not to ditch me for your friends. Well, I guess that comes down to what classifies as ditching somebody. Like, for example, if it's my friend's birthday and, like, I had an event with my girlfriend on the same day and I forgot about um, the uh, birthday, I would say to my girlfriend personally, hey, you know, we'll go out tomorrow. I'll take you somewhere nice. I'll make up for it, you know. But I'm going to go to my mate's birthday party. I forgot. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Like, that's... Why? Why would that matter? You know, I, I think, 
you know, you shouldn't really just straight out ignore your girlfriend, but I think you should be allowed to prioritize things in like certain situations at least. But this simply says you are not to ditch me for your friends. What? That's weird because, you know, I think it just needs to be more specific and it needs to like, you know, take life into consideration. You know what I mean? If my friend um, gets hit by a truck, I'm going to ditch my girlfriend to find out if my friend's alive or not. Like, oh, that, that, you know what I mean? That's strange. Austin does not control when I hang out with you. What? So I'm guessing Austin is a friend in this situation. Does not control when I hang out with you. Well, you know what? I don't think there should be control in any shape or form. I don't think the friend should control the relationship because it's external. Like, it's a, it's outside of it. But at the same time, the girl shouldn't be the one to say, oh, she, he can't control this. You know, he's his own free person. He, the person who, like the boyfriend, I assume, gets to decide what he wants to do. It's not really up to a rule per se. It's, it's like this. I wake up in the morning and I think to myself, do I want to see my best friend or do I want to see my girlfriend? And then I go with that. It's not a hard thing. You know what I mean? I, I'm not going to think in the back of my mind, oh, you know, oh, I need to follow this rule. Stop that. You know what I mean? I'm not at work. I'm not at school. I'm not at uni. Why should I need to worry about a rule that you have? You know what I mean? If I feel like it, I'm going to do that. It's easy. It's, life shouldn't be that difficult. It's as simple as that. Another rule that we have here, you are not to go to Honda without me. What? See, this is what I don't understand. So, like, you want not to get a Honda without me. So, like, does the guy, like, go to Honda and just, like, chill there? Is life that boring? Like, where where would you be, like, genuinely? Like, what backward town in the middle of nowhere would you be to go to a Honda dealership for fun if you're not going to buy a car or pay off some sort of car payment or whatever? I don't understand why you would just go to Honda and just straight up just chill there. Like, you are not to go to Honda without me. That makes no sense. I, is is she assuming that, like, he is only to go to Honda with her because he is, is like, she wants him to buy her a car? Um, I, I, I don't understand that. that that's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't understand why that is a specific rule. Like, what, what scenario caused it to be such a problem that she... Because you have to understand this. She sat down and thought all of these up and typed them out on a Word document and printed it out. You know what I mean? Or on a notes or whatever and printed it out. And she, in her mind, she, you know, it ticked. And she said, oh, Honda's a, Honda's a problem. No, I'm going to write it down now. And that's, now it's in there. You are not to, and another rule, you're not to get mad at me about a single thing ever. <laughs> um, that's not going to work, love. Um, <laughs> okay, in life, you know, in relationships, we, you get mad at each other. And sometimes it's for valid stuff and sometimes it's, it's for dumb stuff. You know what I mean? But you must not get mad at me. That's stupid. It, and people have emotions. You know, it's normal to get frustrated because people do stupid things. And I think and I think in a relationship, you just need to work it out with each other, resolve it, and get back to normal. Or if it's bad enough, just throw them in the bin. Get rid of them. It's not home. Yeah, just something like that. You, you need to think of it that way. I, you, for uh, my girlfriend to say to me, you are not allowed to get mad at me, I would think to myself, oh, she controls my emotions now. And then I'd think to myself, nah, that's not going to work. And then I'd just get rid of her. That, it'd, be, it'd be a simple decision. Even if, if I don't care if I've been with her for a day, a month, or 10 years. The, the day that my partner can tell me how I should feel is a day I'm going to get rid of them on the spot. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel about the situation. If I say jump, you say how high princess. <laughs> See, that's, okay, yeah, no, nah, that, that goes back to control again. Now, whoever wrote this, this woman seems like an absolute control freak. 
And I honestly, if I was this boyfriend, I would honestly, to be honest, I, I would most likely like straight up burn this and like record it. <laughs> just because I'm savage like that, I, I would just burn it and show it to her that I've burnt it. And then after I burn it, I'll say to her, I'm not going to say how high princess and then just block her on basically everything. Because that's weird. Nah. You know what I mean? You're not you're not my boss. You're not paying me to listen to you. And you're not my teacher or my lecturer. I, I, don't, I don't need to follow what you say. I'm my own person. And it's as simple as that. I think you need to act reasonably and so do I. But it sort of reminds me if I say, if you, if I say, jump you say how high princess you know i think of like if i'm in the military and a general or like my commander's yelling at me that's the only situation i could like fathom myself if if that person said jump to me i would ask how high i wouldn't call him princess i'd get the crap beaten out of me but you know what i mean <laughs> i'm allowed to do a phone check whenever i please is one of the rules yeah nah that's toxic as that's nah nah that's not gonna work either I personally would never ever check my girlfriend's phone and I would never allow my girlfriend to check my phone. I personally think that it's absolutely invasive to have, like, what gives you the privilege privilege to check my phone? You know what I mean? You should trust me. If you don't trust me, go. It's as simple as that. I, I do not believe that I should have to police my partner and vice versa because of an insecurity it's it's a simple trust thing i i believe that it's absolutely an invasion of privacy you know i think of the thought i don't know if you've read 1984 but when i think when i read these stuff i think of the thought police I, like, it genuinely feels like that like when i read this stuff it's so bad thank you very much for watching guys uh this is my first video please like subscribe and share if you have any idea for other content you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I'd love to make more videos for you. Peace.